my friends, it's Julia. Today I'm here to share my March 2021 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. The inspiration for this month's kit is the Paper Addict Mommy-ish kit. And I think it is a digital kit. I don't know when it came out on the website. Um, I, didn't, I didn't deep dive into it that far. Uh, I just know that it's a digital kit and it's based on very bright, bold colors. It has almost an office feel or a work from home or a journaling type feel. When you go to the website and you look at the inspiration photos, the examples of layouts that they've done, it is uh, maybe school photos or work photos or different photos like one photo uh one layout is about pins and it may be that you know that person has an obsession with pins and so that's what it's about another layout is about something that was written maybe journaling another layout was uh about books and reading so you can you can tell just based on what the what the kit looks like that it's got almost an office theme or a school type theme you know working with paper products and in a journaling or writing paper clips and and pens and typewriters and that kind of thing so anyway i looked through my stash and i really thinking about that theme i have themes in my stash that match that but it's i don't have the photos um, I don't really have a lot of photos that match that theme that I haven't already scrapbooked. So what I thought, okay, I will pull the bright, bold colors from that kit to give it the same feel. Not the same, but the same feel. Uh, the kit had buttons and star shapes and paper clips and things like that. Lots of paper crafted ephemera, like flowers and the pinwheels and those kind of things. There's enamel dots in it looks like word stickers or cut out phrases that kind of thing so what I did was I went into my stash I found a paper kit that I felt like represented or had the same feel in the colors that it chose so I pulled out this old bow bunny line and it is a collection pack from 2016 I think I bought it at Hobby Lobby or someplace. So this one came with 18 sheets of double-sided designer paper and one sheet of cardstock stickers. Plus you have this introduction sheet that you can use to cut out designs or whatever you want from here. The back side is white. It's heavy duty. You could probably um, use that for a background if you wanted to. These are the stickers. They have a lot of faith-based sayings on them. Uh, pray, have faith, be strong and courageous from Joshua 19, Jeremiah 29 11. Lots of phrase or faith based phrasing on here, but they can be used for anything really. I believe and wonderful and he lives. I mean, if you're not Christian or you don't want to do a faith based page, you could put um, cover up, he loves her. You know, you could do whatever with these or cut out that all together and just have the arrows or cover up with another little banner. So don't look at a kit and think, okay, this is faith-based, so I can't use it at all. Figure out a way to work around um, if, if the faith-based scrapbooking is not your thing. So with this kit, you have all of these double-sided papers. So let me start putting these up here the introduction sheet along with the sticker sheet. These papers are flipping gorgeous and bright. Now I will have each page like this and then the back side will be next. So you, ha and they almost have a mixed media type feel. And this one almost has like a Mary Engelbert. Do you guys remember that um, back in the day? She was doodles and um, really almost had a country feel, if you will, real doodly. Um, but I love how they have all these different, uh, pieces that make you feel like this is almost mixed media. Love that. That almost looks like it has a textured feel. That rainbow paper is so pretty. And a flat back, black. 
uh, with polka dots. Look at that bright yellow. And that's one of the things that caught my eye about the Inspiration Kit was the bright pops of teal and pink and yellow. And I thought, I can, I can get that same feel. I mean, these two colors alone will give me that feel along with that pink color. This one is a cut apart sheet. I love all that newsprint on there. And look at this orange. Oh, so lovely. And this purple. And then here's a cut apart sheet. And the back of that one is um, black and white floral print. Let me pull that down just a little bit so you get the full effect. So there we go. So there are all the papers. So as I was going through my kit, one of the first things that I do is I go to my freckled fawn stash and I try and pick out something from there as far as alphabets or embellishments that will match the kit. So I found this kit from November 2019. The first thing that, that I remembered when I was looking for a kit was this alphabet with this bright pink with gold lettering. Um, and I actually have three sheets of the letter stickers. But this bold fuchsia pink felt like it went with this line immediately. Same with these stickers that came with this little kit here. These washi strips. These chipboard stickers and these are the enamel dots that came with that kit and then the wood veneer were these leaves. I don't know necessarily that I would use the leaves but I might so I'm going to leave them here. Next I went into my um, drawer where I keep all of my embellishments as far as ephemera packs and that kind of thing and I found all of my uh, Ellie Studio that I had purchased a while ago. I think this was from May 2020 or May 2019. So this was all like one kit and I don't remember if this was part of it, but I felt like all these, all of these stickers like these, look at that. How perfect is that with the purples, the greens, the blues, the yellows, the reds, all of it just has a lovely color theme that will go with this, you know, great. So I pulled these in. There's another embellishment, you know, pack to add to that match the color theme, if you will. Uh, finally, I went into my random embellishments as far as freckled fawn goes. So I picked out these phrase bubbles, um, and they are in the bright, bold colors. They're acetate. I pulled in just some black and white cameras. I pulled in these little houses with some of the fuchsia type colors. I pulled in these leftover washi strips. They match really well. I pulled in these leftover washi strips. And these leftover washi strips. And still more leftover washi strips. <laughs> yeah, and then a couple packs of labels that were left over. I, that used to have two sheets in there. I, don't, I think it may be down to one. But I have leftovers on both of these that I would love to get used up. Next, I went into, no, I have a few more. This is actually from Ellie Studio, and it matches this collection back here. So there, I pulled in some cards from Freckled Fawn. I think these are all Freckled Fawn. There might be, I was thinking there might be a Felicity Jane, but I think they're all Freckled Fawn. But you can see, these are, some of them are quite old, and I've had them in multiple kits and haven't been able to get them used up. So, again, I'm going to pull them in and use what I can. But I feel like they have a lot of the same color feels as this kit, and so I think they'll work. These are some old acetate pieces that I have used a ton of, um, and I will try and get this pack used up. Again, all the same color feels. They match perfectly. So next I went into another embellishment drawer where I have all of my older Felicity Jane products that I bought like on clearance sale or whatever and I don't have the full collection. This is the Jamie line and so I have the die cuts which has a lot of the same feels, a lot of the same colors. Um, the designer tabs, again same colors. Uh, some of these might not be exactly perfect, but that's okay. If they don't work, they don't work. And then the Puffy Alpha 
I have two sheets of that and then the puffy stickers. These seem a lot lighter than the kit, but I think they will work to some degree. And then these are the Jamie cards. And again, I think probably not all of these will work, but some of them will. And I'll give it my best shot to get them used. There's ones with phrases on there. There's polka dots. There's hearts. There's some blue. There's another phrase. That yellow I think will match to some degree. Florals will match. Uh, love this. Does that not match that perfectly? Yeah, those are stripes, more stripes, and another phrase. So I have all of those to play with. And you guys know me. This looks like a ton of embellishment and a ton of paper. But if you know me, it's not enough. So I kept digging in my stash. And I decided to go in my ephemera drawer one more time because I remembered I had some flowers in there that I thought would match. They had the purples and the pinks and the, the bright fuchsia colors. These are Paper Studio, and that's what they all look like. And I think you will see, if you hold it up next to these papers, I think it's going to be a good match. So I pulled those in. So I think I was finally done with my ephemera drawer, so I went into my enamel dot or bling drawer. In my bling drawer, I pulled out a ton of stuff. I found these bows that I've been looking at going, how am I going to use those? But if you look up here, these colors are so perfect. So I'm going to use what I can out of this package. I pulled in lots of little leftover random packs of enamel dots. Like that fuchsia color is perfect. I have some bright yellow hearts. I have some sparkly, glittery uh, purples. I have, this is purple and creamy white. These are red, black, cream, pink, and blue. These are red, gray, green, uh, cream color, and a few gold ones. These are, these look like gemstones. These colors are all so perfect. There's burgundies and blues and purples and yellows and reds and oranges and blacks. That's a huge kit. But if you know me, not enough. I need more selection. So I went into what I term my leftover drawer. Now the leftover drawer is if I've stamped something or cut something and it didn't quite work out, but I didn't want to throw it away. I put it into there to hopefully pull out at a different time. So, um, and I think I've told you guys, sometimes I will sit around, uh, stamping or creating or coloring when I don't feel crafty or like not crafty. When I don't feel like scrapbooking, I still want to play a little bit, so I color things. So I pulled in all of my Tim Holtz Crazy Birds, and uh, yeah, you can see I have colored tons, but these bright colors of all these birds match so well. And I figure I can try and get some of them used on cards. If they don't all work, that's okay. They can go back into my stash, and I am okay with that because at some point, I will get these used up. I colored all of these and then fussy cut them out so that I could use them either on cards or scrapbooking, and you can see I have tons of them. This is one of the things, one of my favorite things to color are those things. They are so fun. So next, in that same drawer, I found a ton of uh, embellishment papers or paper scraps that were, um, they're all small. Uh, none of them are, like that is probably 4 by 12 But these are all really small. But it all matched, and I wanted to keep it all together to play with together. And the colors match this kit so well that I thought I might as well pull it all in together. So I pulled this out of the drawer. And then, as I'm going through, I found this SEI sheet of paper, and it's perforated, and it's got all of these tiny little squares on it that I've used, um, and you can see there's a bunch there um, that I have cut apart, but I wanted to keep them all together. I used the paper that this, that this perforated sheet came with as a kit at some point, and I had this left over, but I didn't want to take it apart, so, or disperse it into my stash. So I kept it together in my leftover drawer. Next up, I went through and I found some things, like these are leftover flowers that I had fussy cut from a pattern paper, and so I didn't want to throw them away. 
it took a lot of time and effort to fussy cut those so I feel like the colors were pretty representative of the papers that I chose so I kept those these are little random things that I had fussy cut from a cut apart sheet I didn't want to get rid of them so again they landed in my uh, leftover drawer and that's where they came from when I was playing with stamps I stamped these out they didn't turn out great but I love the colors in them so I didn't want to throw them out yeah different cut aparts um, all kinds of things that's something that I stamped these are from a cut apart sheet from a kit from a while ago more that I stamped more that I stamped uh, another cut apart and finally I pulled in um, not finally I pulled in some leaves that I had played around with with watercolors and I colored my watercolor paper then I embossed the uh, image of the leaves on and then I cut them out with the dies so I have a ton of those left um, that I didn't get used on whatever project I had them for that I originally made them for so I'm going to try and get some more of those used up and then finally, my little girl stamps from Felicity Jane. I really went to town uh, pulling those out. And these are all ones that my grandkids have colored in. And so some of them have been fussy cut out. And you can see lots of coloring. Lots of coloring. Lots of coloring. And these are all, when my grandkids do them, they're all super bright, bold colors. My youngest or my middle granddaughter is all about monochromatic looks a lot of times. So we have green hair, green dress, green sweater, green shoes. This one is pink, pink hair, pink dress, pink shoes, pink cupcake, pink everything. Now, finally, I went through, I'm still pulling from that same leftover drawer. These are all... Um, images that I stamped and fussy cut out for a project a long time ago and I have slowly been plugging away at these using them a little at a time and I have a ton in all different colors and so I'm going to try and get some more use this go around because I feel like all of these colors match are represented in the papers that I pulled and this is just a ton of hearts um, I have all different sizes and shapes. There's glitter hearts. There's all sorts of hearts in there. There's a lot of the larger ones um, and a ton of the small ones. And so I'm just going to work at using whatever I use out of here. This is when I have leftover paper. Um, what I'll do is I'll go through and I will punch, use a small punch, and punch out a ton of little heart shapes with the scraps scraps that are little that I don't want to necessarily save but I don't want to throw them away either that's what I use them for so that's it that is my March 2021 counterfeit kit challenge kit and it's huge um, I am going to do a series the last seven days of the month um, or the last week of the month and uh, I want to make at least seven layouts with this kit this month um, whether I get it all used up, yeah, I probably don't think so, but I'll be able to pull from it again and again and again. Uh, there are several projects coming up that are happening over the course of the year that I can finish it up with, so I'm not, my feelings aren't going to be hurt if I only make seven layouts right now and then I'm able to make more later. So, this is my kit. This is where I'm starting. If you haven't been over to the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog, I encourage you head over there. If you haven't been to their Facebook group, I encourage you to go over there. There's some amazing kits that people have pulled together. And the designers for this kit this month, oh my goodness, they have done a remarkable job pulling their kits together. And they're just amazing. And I can't wait to see what they're creating with their kit. So, if you're interested in seeing what I pulled together with this kit, check out the end of the month, uh, the last week of the month, and I'll have the series up every day for seven days. Uh, but be aware, I am doing the 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life this month. So, those are taking precedent. Um, I'm trying to get those done early enough that, um, or early enough in the day, or late enough in the night that I can post them the next day when they're due, um, so that I'm part of her... Uh, daily blog hop if you will anywho or daily YouTube hop 
anyway I appreciate you guys being here um, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope this inspires you to get into your stash pull out some of your older products and use them up uh, use them to create things you bought all this wonderful beautiful stuff uh, use it to create some wonderful beautiful things anyway guys I will see you on the next video have a great day everyone bye bye